For the past year or so, I've been in the market for a new enduro mountain bike. I've done tons of research, read hundreds of reviews, and watched countless videos. We truly live in the golden age of mountain biking. There are so many great bikes and bike companies out there that I've had a hard time making a decision. For the past couple years, I've been riding a 2021 Commensal Meta Am 29er. It's honestly been a fantastic bike. It's been very capable of everything I've thrown at it, and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to a friend. But I've been looking to mix it up. I decided I wanted to try a carbon frame, not just to save a few pounds of weight, but also to see how it affects the overall feel of the bike. I also wanted a bike that wasn't quite so slack and long, making it a little more maneuverable. I had it narrowed down to a few bikes in particular. I wanted a bike with high-end suspension, brakes, and drivetrain for the demanding type of riding that I do. But I've had this internal struggle going on, trying to justify the ridiculous cost of some of these bikes with high-end components. Until, one fateful day, a few weeks ago, I was checking my email and saw this. YT dropped everything 25%. You hear of 10% off, even 15% off, but for a company to offer 25% off any bike, not just the entry level models, but also the highest spec builds, is pretty unheard of. So there I was, checking out the YT Capra in more depth, trying to decide if this was a sign from above that this was the bike for me. And the more I thought about it, the better I felt. The bike normally retails at $5,300, but to offer the bike at $3,979 with Fox factory suspension, SRAM X01 drivetrain, Code RSC brakes, Crank Brothers rims with Industry 9 hubs, and their highest end carbon frame, is just mind blowing to me. It was too good of a deal to pass up. Honestly, I don't understand how they make any money selling a bike with such high end components at this low of a price. I finally made up my mind. But, and this was a big but, could I convince my wife? Well, I guess you already know the answer to that based on the title of the video. A couple weeks later, it was officially New Bike Day. This is the YT Capra Core 4. After applying ride wrap to the frame, it was time to put the bike together. There were only a couple things I added or swapped out, so I'll mention those along the way. My size large frame came with a 150mm dropper post, but I swapped that out to a 200mm Wolf Tooth Resolve dropper. This dropper has been really impressive so far. The build quality is excellent just like everything from Wolf Tooth components. The post is reliable and adjustable. Every time the dropper post gets pushed all the way down, it automatically self bleeds, which is a nice feature. I'll list the full specs and geometry of my bike in the comments below, but just a few key points here. This is a size large with a 467mm reach, 1248mm wheelbase, and 64.2 degree head tube angle. It does have a flip chip, so you can change the head tube angle to 64.5. I'm 5'10", and for me and my needs, the fit is great. The Fox 38 factory fork has 170mm of travel. The Fox Float X2 Airshock has 165mm of travel. I went with the 29er setup. They also have a mixed wheel mullet option with a 27.5 inch wheel in the rear. The bike comes stock with a Renthal cockpit, which is great, but I did swap that out for my preferred carbon handlebars, the Envy M6 bars, and M6 alloy stem. I recently made a video about these handlebars and my impressions, so I'll put the link to that video at the top right of the screen if you're interested. I'm also using the Wolf Tooth Light Action Dropper Lever, which is so smooth, easy to push, and feels great. A huge upgrade in my opinion. The SRAM Code RSC brakes were great on my previous bike, so I have no concerns about them on the new bike. Plenty of power and some modulation. They're also very adjustable, which is nice. I like the ability to adjust the levers to get the bite point and lever reach exactly where I want it. I'm trying out the new Wolf Tooth Echo lock-on grips. They've got tons of colors, which is nice. As mountain bikers, you know that we love to color match our components. I went with gray to match the gray decals on the frame, fork, cranks, and wheels. The grips feel good with or without gloves. They are a newer product though, so we'll see how they hold up in the upcoming months. I swapped out the stock 32 tooth chain ring for an absolute black 30 tooth oval chain ring. I had one of these on my previous bike and loved it. The 30 tooth chain ring is helpful for my wimpy legs on those long climbs. Plus where I live there are a lot of steep climbs. The chain ring also just looks sick. 
I'm excited to try out this wheel set. This is the Crank Brothers Synthesis Alloy Wheel Set. The wheel set comes with the Industry 9 one one hubs. The rims are front and rear specific. The front rim has a slightly wider width of 31.5 millimeters and 28 spokes for more compliance and grip. The rear has 29.5 millimeter width and 32 spokes for better strength and stability. I also added my rim packed tire inserts, which I used all last year and are still in great shape. They allow me to run a slightly lower tire pressure for better grip and provide some dampening on the trail that I really enjoy. To complete the blacked out look, I went with an all black chain. This is the SRAM XX1 black chain. I threw on my trusty Deity T-Max, which are just flawless in my opinion. The grip is insane and they have a nice concave platform. I tried clipless pedals for a while last year and just couldn't quite gel with it. Honestly, I feel much more comfortable on flat pedals with a lot of grip. Alright, so let's hear the Industry 911 hub. Throwing on my saddle now, this is the SDG Bel Air V3 Max, which agrees nicely with my behind. If you're not familiar with better bolts, they make super high quality bolts and components to upgrade on your bike. Here I'm putting on the Fox Factory Fork air valve cover and compression dial. Honestly, this upgrade was more for looks than anything else. I'm just not a huge fan of the bright blue dials on Fox Forks, so swapping these out to black just looks much more aesthetically pleasing on this build. I also added the Fox XL mud guard to try to keep dirt and mud away as much as possible. And that's about it. I'm super excited about how the bike is looking. I can't wait to try it out and really put it to the test in the upcoming weeks. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. This year I'll be exploring new trails, racing enduro again, giving product reviews, and trying to progress my skills on the bike. Lots of great things coming. Thanks for watching, and without further ado, here the bike is in all her glory.